160 million suns are colliding with one another in complete darkness. It sounds unbelievable, but there's no other way of describing this pair of supermassive black holes that astronomers discovered in December 2021. The fusion of these two monsters will take place at a record close distance from Earth, just 89 million light years away. Okay, it's not that close. But one day, we'll definitely invent faster than light spaceships, and then we'll undoubtedly need a star guide map to avoid the most dangerous objects in the universe black holes. Which ones lie in wait for us right around the corner in near space? Why can a black hole not only suck you up, but also roast you? And where's the lair of the most dangerous gravitational monsters in the universe? What black holes can we encounter right next door? Astronomers recently discovered a binary star in the Telescopium constellation, and it comes with a bonus gift, a third invisible object. That's a black hole five times heavier than the Sun, but its unbelievable density makes it just 30 kilometers in diameter. It's not that easy to make your ship fall into this black hole even if you wanted to. However, scientists are still worried because it literally wanders around in our backyard, just 1,000 light years away from Earth. So let's map this black hole next door, even though it's tiny. A bit farther, 1.5 thousand light years away from our planet, there's another unusual black hole in the Monoceros constellation. Just 10 kilometers in diameter, this tiny object stretches and squashes the neighboring red giant like a soft toy. This black hole is 2.6 times heavier than the star. If we didn't spot this tiny monster, our spacecraft could be overloaded when flying past the red giant. In the interstellar outskirts of our Milky Way, there are dozens of known objects similar to black holes. At the same time, astronomers believe that in our galaxy, there are at least 10 million black holes formed from massive stars. It's challenging to find and map such small objects, but they don't pose any serious threat to space travel anyway, whereas supermassive black holes are another story. Which of the world's most famous space monsters is the largest. Our nearest supermassive black hole is located in the Sagittarius constellation, 26,000 light years away from Earth. The object, called Sagittarius A star, weighs more than 4 million suns and is 44 million kilometers in diameter. Only three such galactic monsters would fit between Earth and the Sun, but that's nothing compared to giants from distant galaxies. An absolute monster lurks in the Coma Berenices constellation, 300 million light years away. This black hole in the center of a giant elliptical galaxy has a mass similar to 21 billion suns. And the size of its event horizon, that is, the region of space where the gravitational pull is so strong that even light cannot escape, is 70 billion kilometers. There would be more than enough space for three of our solar systems to Pluto's orbit within such a diameter. Just one slight navigational error on our way to this distant galaxy, and our spaceship is destroyed. But an absolute record among the black holes known to science is held by Tun 618 in the Canis Venatici constellation that lies at a distance of more than 10 billion light years. This object strongly absorbs interstellar gas and has a mass of 66 billion suns and a diameter of 242 billion kilometers. So much room is enough to fit 11 solar systems in a row. And even even more so, a gluttonous Tun 618 could be more enormous nowadays, since on Earth we see it the way it used to be 10 billion years ago. But it's not just supermassive black holes themselves that are a threat. What are the dangers of the effects they produce? For example, Tun 618 has a huge accretion disk. Basically, it's a very fast whirlpool of matter that's heated to millions of degrees and heading towards the mouth of the black hole. If our spaceship gets there, it will evaporate in the blink of an eye. 
So a danger zone radius around Tun 618 is a whole light year. If you look at the famous photo of the black hole captured in the core of the Messier 87 galaxy, you'll see precisely this huge accretion disk. Moreover, this monster that lies 53 million light years away from Earth disgorges a gigantic plasma jet that spreads as far as 5,000 light years, right after our faster than light ship hits this black hole's burp, the crew will be exposed to a lethal dose of radiation. But there's a thousands of times more dangerous zone in the Hercules constellation. Here, two billion light years away from Earth, a supermassive black hole emits two fountains of charged particles. Their total length is around 1.5 million light years. The distance between these radio jets could be enough to fit 10 Milky Way galaxies. If a faster than light ship gets here, all its systems will fail. So far, scientists have no idea how exactly the black hole managed to create an effect like that. And it's the unknown that frightens them the most. What black holes had scientists baffled and therefore are particularly dangerous? In the Sexton's constellation, located 13 billion light years away from Earth, a black hole weighing like one billion suns wove a real web of galaxies. The scariest part is that this space spider somehow managed to reach such an immense mass in less than a billion years after the birth of the universe. The models showing how black holes originate prove it's just impossible. So we'd better stay out of that region for now, as well as into the center of the galaxy located in the Ursa Major constellation that's almost 10 billion light years away from us. The black hole that lies there fails to carry out its primary responsibility. It's surrounded by matter, but doesn't absorb it for some inexplicable reason. It's as if some unknown force turned the black hole off so that gas around it cooled down and started to produce new stars. That's what we can see now, and probably the best choice here is not to poke the sleeping beast. However, the biggest mystery that science can't explain is the galaxy in the Hercules constellation more than 2.5 billion light years away. Judging by the evidence of radio emissions, there used to be a black hole that could possibly be even more massive than Tun 618. However, it's not there anymore. Of course, black holes can evaporate, but it's a prolonged process that takes trillions of years. So what happened to this space monster is just beyond our understanding. The only thing to calm us down is that all these black holes are very far from us. Or not. One theory about mysterious dark matter, the one that makes up most of the mass of the universe, states that black holes are literally everywhere. They're just very small. One day they got stuck in microscopic size, and now they can neither grow nor evaporate. According to this theory, every big city on Earth has at least one micro black hole. Write in the comments in which borough or building of your city such monsters might be hiding. Could it possibly be them going door to door and stealing socks out of our washing machines? Hmm, something to think about.